We start this evening with the tariff and trade talks here in Washington between Chinese officials and their counterparts from the Treasury Department. The talks are going on despite the punitive 25% tariffs on $16 billion worth of goods in both directions. Manila Chan has been following the story and she joins us now with more. Hi, Manila. Hi, Natasha. Yes, talks are underway now. Uh, these lower level meetings, though, with the Chinese delegation is at least a step in the direction of good faith, to say the least. Okay, we are now at a combined total of about $100 billion worth of products since early July, which have been slapped with tit for tat tariffs. China's Commerce Ministry, though, happy to meet with the Treasury Department, still issuing strong words, calling Washington obstinate. Earlier today, President Trump met with Republican lawmakers and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin to discuss American technology and intellectual property rights, which are at the center of why the Trump administration took these bold moves against China in the first place. This is what the president had to say. Well, I think not enough focus has been put on China, and that's been for a long time. And we want to have big focus is on Russia. Not enough focus is on China and other countries, frankly, it's not just Russia and China. It's many countries we have to watch and probably individuals also. Now, insiders have very low expectations as to what, what might come of these talks, reminding us that these are just the first face-to-face -face meetings since June when the trade spat began. That's when Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross went to Beijing. The Trump administration is still hoping to force China into making major changes to its economic policies, especially having them lower tariffs on American goods coming into their market and really aims to slash the huge trade deficit. So as of now, we can expect the U.S. Trade Representative's office to move forward with another set of tariffs on yet another $200 billion worth of Chinese goods until further notice. So Natasha, this game of chicken is really just hurting American businesses right here at home. Uh, business owners have already begun reporting uh, having to increase prices due to the new tariffs, while others saying that the uh, trade war is really hurting their plans for expansion, and some even reporting that they've had to lay off workers to compensate for the difference in cost of goods here at home. Natasha? It's interesting to hear what they have to say from today's meeting. Thank you so much, That's Manila right. Chen. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.